Hey, how's it going everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over my complete set of OTS Pack 8. Uh, now, in Yu-Gi-Oh! you don't see this too often with people going over complete sets, or some people refer to it as master sets. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this in some way, and if you do, consider leaving a like, comment your favorite card from this OTS Pack if you have one, and subscribe if you're new, but if not, that's alright too. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, starting off with the ultis, uh, the first one is Droll and Lockbird. Now, I was really excited because I did end up pulling this. Uh, and when the set first came out, it wasn't really sought after as much as the second ulti, and that is Sky Striker Ace Kigari, just because it wasn't being ran in the meta as much, and Sky Striker Ace Kigari was. So, yeah, the Kigari was Chase at first, but now. It's moved towards the Droll and Lockbird, uh, being the most expensive ulti in the set. And then kind of just a cool card for goats, of course, scapegoats. Now I know the Retro Pack um, scapegoat is the uh, most expensive, but the ulti scapegoat is pretty nice. And moving on to the Ruin Supreme Queen of Oblivion and the Demise Supreme King of Armageddon. The Demise deck was getting support at the time. So they reprinted these in supers, which I think they are the best looking supers in this uh, OTS set, in my opinion. Uh, really nice looking. And then we got the Trial Dragon. I don't know if it was seeing play or not, but it got a reprint. Now I know Underclock Taker was getting some play early on when Lynx were brand new. But when the more powerful Lynx came out, of course, it didn't see as much play. And then a spell card that was a really good reprint was Machine Duplication, used in a lot of Cyber Dragon decks. Next, we got uh, the Broken Bamboo Sword, just kind of a random reprint in my opinion. Uh, and then Space Gift, the Neo Spatians were getting some support. And then the Secret Village of the Spellcasters, now this is a pretty good spell card if you are running a Spellcaster deck. Um, just stopping your opponent from activating spells is really nice. And then for the last super, uh, Waking the Dragon. Kind of saw some play in some stun decks. And then just the commons. Invader of Darkness, Ritual Raven. And a pretty funny one, the Ojama Red. And then a pretty useful one, Artifact Morale Tech. Pretty cool. And the ninjas were getting some support, so we got a Twilight Ninja. And then... We got the Ice Bell, or One Witch Snow Bell, sorry, and Glass Bell. They did not reprint Ice Bell in here, unfortunately. And then a card that started seeing some play when Infernoble Knights were the top deck, and that was Divine Sword of Phoenix Blade. Uh, Neo Space, Axe of Fools, Ninjutsu Art Notebook, Nutrients Z, Curse Sealed, the Forbidden Spell. Uh, pretty cool counter trap. And then for the very last card, the Sky Striker Ace Token. So yeah, that was the complete set of OTS 8. And again, hopefully you guys did enjoy this in some way. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.